Hey friend, welcome back. I am finally gonna dye my hair. So for a little bit of backstory, I've always wanted to dye my hair pink for whatever reason it was. If it was just like a little strand or even the whole thing, maybe. I just always had that like fascination of dyeing my hair and I've always been scared to do it. So this is gonna be my first time attempting to dye my hair. And as you can tell, I have really dark hair, almost like black, dark brown hair. So I have to bleach my hair in order for any color to stick to it. So that's going to be interesting. I didn't want this video to end up like a huge fail and my hair falling out and me just looking like a freaking troll with pink hair. I wanted us to have the best outcome here. So I did a little digging. I did a little research on hairstyles that would look cute if I added color into them and I actually stumbled upon a couple of these pictures and videos online of girls who dye the bottom half of their hair. Either they just bleach it or they dye it a certain color and I think it looks really cute actually. I just saw this video today of this one girl who had dark dark hair like me and she dyed the bottom half of her hair hot pink and it looked so pretty the contrast of her really dark hair on top over the hot pink she had like these really pretty curtain bangs so that's the goal let's see if we can get there I figured that this half bleaching thing would work best for me because number one I have never dyed my hair before. I have virgin hair, you guys. Oh my god. She's losing her V-card. I've never bleached my hair before, so this is like a big deal to me. And I don't want to just like dive in and like have hot pink hair and end up hating it. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to just like dip my toes in. This is still a big chunk of my hair. The second reason why I wanted to do this is because... I have a lot of hair. <laughs> my hair is very thick. I brushed it out. That's why it looks pretty frizzy right now. Even just this alone looks like a lot of hair to dye. And if I were to dye my whole head, oh my god, the amount of bleach and dye that I would need to buy is just not right. I'm going to be dyeing my hair hot pink. I actually bought a diluter as well to mix the colors and make it like a lighter rose gold type of pink. But after seeing that video of that girl with just the hot pink in her hair, it looks so pretty. So I think I'm going to start off with this. Eventually when the color fades, maybe I'll do a lighter color. We'll see. Today, we're going hot pink. I'm using this Manic Panic Flash Lightning. So while I mix the bleach together with the developer, <sighs> Let me tell you, let me tell you why I've been gone. I've been gone for a whole month. So in the beginning of December, I was so busy and so consumed with school and my job, my internship. Um, I tried to get content out for YouTube. Things were going on with family. It was all so chaotic. And then eventually on December 12th, I graduated and I had my little virtual graduation ceremony thanks to COVID. So the following week rolls around. My boyfriend comes home from work and he feels really exhausted. He says that he has like a little bit of body aches, but it could just be that, you know, he was working at 6 a.m., he came home pretty late, and that he was just feeling really tired. The following day comes around and he starts to get more symptoms of COVID. Long story short, he got it and he gave it to me. And that really sucked. We showed basically all the symptoms. We lost our smell, we lost our taste. Obviously we quarantined for 14 days in our room and it was fine at first, but it was miserable to say the least. Like the symptoms were not fun. And that was kind of like a slap in the face because since the beginning of this pandemic, I have been like preaching basically that we need to social distance and we need to quarantine and we shouldn't be going out to parties and we shouldn't be hanging out with friends. I was doing like everything that I needed to do, not visiting friends, missing out on their birthdays, my closest friend's birthdays, but I'm better now. That month was really hard for several other reasons. And that's why I was gone for the entire month off YouTube, but things are looking up. Things are looking a little better. By the way, I'm gonna get started. So here goes nothing. I don't know why, but I feel like I did a shitty job and I hope that that's not the case, but I just, 
it just didn't feel like it went smoothly so I guess we'll find out in like 30 minutes but my hair is already lifting which is great um, I didn't do the roots yet because they say that the roots dye faster than the rest of your hair so I'm gonna leave that and do it when it gets closer to the time to, to rinse it out the next day so this is me now <laughs> so it's the next morning I had a little bit of a mental breakdown last night just a little one like a little tiny baby mental breakdown because I realized that I did in fact mess up it's beyond me how I thought it'd be a good idea to bleach my hair by myself. How I didn't think I would need help. Like the front parts and everything, they look fine. They're orange because my hair is very dark. I only bleached it once. Obviously it's gonna take a couple bleaching sessions for it to get like platinum. But color aside, that's not the point. I'm gonna put dye on it so that doesn't really matter. The bleach didn't really stick to certain parts of my hair, like the tips of my hair. You can kind of see that it's a little brown still. And normally, that would freak me out I mean at first it did freak me out because it's like what the fuck? like it's not even it's patchy like I look like a tiger or something as concerning as that sounds I put it behind me because this is just the bottom half of my hair and I still have thank God my natural hair on top of this that's gonna lay over it so it doesn't really matter what the bottom looks like as long as like the front piece is like are okay you know what I'm saying in a perfect world obviously I would like to have my hair even and not like patchy but like what do you expect I'm doing this at home and it's my first time so it is what it is okay it is what it is it'll look fine in the end I feel so weird looking in the mirror right now like it's a little discouraging but I'm a firm believer in trust the process so baby I'm trusting <laughs> I'm giving it all my trust because shit. We're gonna be dyeing my hair using this Arctic Fox semi-permanent dye in the color Virgin Pink. This time I'm gonna be smart and dye in little sections, not like the shit show I did last night. So it's gonna turn out great. It's gonna turn out fine. Let's do it. Look, look at me. I'm obsessed. I have no words to form the way I feel about my hair right now, but I'm very happy. My hair still feels very healthy and soft and my curls are curlier than ever for some reason, but this is what it looks like. I applied bleach on this side first, so the bleach was on this side longer, which is why I think it's more vibrant, but I love my hair. I really like how it turned out like it's subtle but there's still color and it's cute and it's fun and it's my favorite color and I did something that I've always wanted to do and it's the color that I've always wanted to do and I love it I was feeling unsure at the beginning of this video but I'm very happy with how it turned out I think it's so cute and um, I'm excited to play around with my hair some more I wanted to do some bangs maybe like a curtain bang or like face framing something, but I think I put my hair and myself through enough trauma today, so I'm just gonna save that for another video. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you wanna see some more hair videos in the future because I'm definitely excited to play with color now that I have this part of my hair bleached. I might even bleach it again like in a month so that I can get all the spots that I missed. So that's all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. I would love to have you join my little YouTube family. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Perfect.